This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 10 Android JRPGs is Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. A popular anime and manga hit makes its way to mobile in certified style. Published by Bandai Namco, Sword Art Online fearlessly takes on another digital battlefield, taking us into their iconic tale of cyber imprisonment. It's a mobile RPG that rides on the trend of character collecting games, and while it's not original, it definitely knows its audience. Strap on your belts and trap yourselves in their colorful cyber worlds, with new scenes and new ways to play. Maneuver along with your favorite characters, Kirito, Asuna, Lifa, and Sinon, as they take on a brand new adventure. Relive iconic moments and relish new scenes made directly for the game. Raise your swords and ready your spells as you face off with the anime's towering arch nemeses. With their well-implemented RPG system, you'll grow along with your favorites, strengthening them with new upgrades and skills to survive the monsters that lie in wait. This side-scrolling goodness has a fair amount of cooperative, perfect for long raids with your friends. With so much content packed into a bite-sized diversion, it's one digital world you won't bother escaping from. It has a play score of 8.36. Number 9 is Dragon Quest VI. The last of the Zenithia trilogy, this sixth installment still has the charm of their previous hits. It even manages to improve on some aspects of the fifth game, with some minor changes and upgrades, and most especially on their graphics. Part of Square Enix's series of remakes in 2007, its port to the DS was the very first time it reached the western shores. With much of the same offerings as their previous games, it doesn't really come close to being the definitive Dragon Quest title, but it has enough of series charm to warrant another look. Straying away from the story-heavy games as the previous ones, Dragon Quest VI is where the creator goes in favor of the humble side missions and the quest for the hero's identity. Set in the conflicting lands of dreams and reality, gather your allies, complete quests, and confront the evils of the tyrannical Murdaw. While VI offers a lackluster narrative adventure, it definitely makes up for it with their satisfying combat and expansive class systems. Explore over nine different starting choices and watch yourself grow as you branch out deeper into your career with a grand total of 15 classes. It renders itself a much larger quest for greatness, and higher rate of replayability. As with some of their mobile ports, it features a permanent portrait mode that might feel too constricting to some users, but if you're just looking to continue your Dragon Quest binge, or for an old-school turn-based JRPG to while away the hours, then 6 is a very good fit. It has a play score of 8.37. Number 8 is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. There are over hundreds of JRPGs on the mobile right now, Square Enix leading the pack with their Final Fantasy games. And while their classics still exist today, they've crafted a whole new FF experience, created specifically to cater to the mobile masses, offering them a premium free-to-play RPG with some gachapon elements. Unlock your favorite characters from the series and fight against the creatures of their world in trademark Final Fantasy style. Developed by Alum, it also shares many elements with their successful title, Brave Frontier. The game is presented much like any Final Fantasy game, in traditional pixel art style and boasting a few of Yoshitaka Amano's signature styles. Highly optimized for mobile use, embark on their strategic combat with intuitive taps and swipes. Accept quests, dive into dungeons, talk to the citizens, and fight against other players. It has all the trappings of a high-caliber RPG, all made into one portable free-to-play game. With their gacha style system, you can even create yourself a party of five characters from their beloved series. And while it's not as strategically challenging as their classic games, it's still a great nostalgia-filled adventure with a bit of Ariana Grande at the side. It has a play score of 8.37. Number 7 is Terra Battle. Hironobu Sakaguchi is one of the most beloved icons in the video game industry. And if you haven't heard of him yet, you've probably seen his work. With an impressive resume that includes Chrono Trigger and a few of the games and films of the Final Fantasy series, he's a well-known and well-loved icon for very good reasons, especially with this latest project that aims to give Puzzle and Dragons a run for their money. This venture into the free-to-play RPG model for the mobile isn't exactly what you'd expect for a man of his stature, and while it has its drab moments, it's still a pretty good game overall. A bare-bones RPG game, make war against the opposing forces by moving around in a grid. Strategize using your singular movement option and deal damage once you get closer. As you continue battling with other creatures, you'll level up your chosen characters, giving them more skills and opportunities. It might sound boring, but it's actually a pretty fast-paced game that requires quite a bit of strategic wits. 
What's concerning is its tendency towards the pay-to-win cliché that most free games fall prey to. With their limited and RNG-based character rewards, finishing the game isn't a very realistic goal unless you want to spend a few bucks. But with the game's superstar artist offerings like the legendary Nobu Umatsu, it's definitely worth a shot. It has a play score of 8.39. Number 6 is Dragon Quest IV. From the modern bare-bones RPG of the smartphone era, let's go back to Dragon Quest's traditional sprites. Originally from the 90s, Chapters of the Chosen was a product of the Famicom era before it was remade twice, becoming a hit on the PlayStation and again on the Nintendo DS in 2008. Ultimately, it was this version that made it to the mobile. The first of the so-called Zenithia trilogy, owing to the presence of the iconic castle in the sky. It also boasts a few changes from the original that really expands the experience. Among those are boomerangs, immigrant towns, and an extra chapter. But on its own, Dragon Quest IV also sets it apart from the rest of the series, splitting their overarching narrative into five different chapters. Four of them tells the tale of the hero's party members, and the last follows the hero himself. It's the kind of inventiveness that made it stand out when it was first released, and even in today's generation. And although it's more than 20 years old, the magic is still kept alive, thanks in part to their fresh yet familiar atmosphere. It's not the best Dragon Quest game, with its rather old-fashioned interface that rather annoyingly takes up most of your screen. However, its vintage quality is probably what most people will enjoy about it. It has a place score of 8.46. Number 5 is Final Fantasy V. Dating back to the Super Famicom days of the Final Fantasy series, this fifth entry to the Legendary franchise is only one of the many classic FF chapters that made it to the Mobile Hemisphere. And while others have had pretty advanced games to port it from, this chapter in particular had to be revamped from the ground up by Square Enix themselves. That, while similar to the Game Boy Advance port, has a distinct difference. Now, other than their interactive touch-based UI, it also sports some enhanced visuals that might take away from their usual pixel aesthetics. But waiting years before its eventual release to the Western audience, I'm sure fans of FF5 can stand a few graphical tweaks. In terms of gameplay, however, the game is largely the same with its vast world and enjoyable RPG senses. Play as the hero Bartz, who ventures along with his companions to protect the Shattering Crystals and defeat evil once and for all. Known as one of the darker games of the series, it's a pretty emotional ride. One of FF5's recognizable traits is its robust job system standing up pretty well compared to their later chapters. With their wide variety of choices, it leaves a lot for their players to explore and experiment with. Adding to that is the fact that you're free to switch between your jobs during the course of the story. What else could he ask for? It has a play score of 8.49. Number 4 is Final Fantasy IX for Android. Moving on from the sprites, we get one of Final Fantasy's contenders for the best in the series. It's a game that's widely adored, not just because of one aspect, but because of its majesty as a whole. Dated as its clunky polygons might look to our young eyes, it was quite a landmark for its time. Final Fantasy IX gave us fans a taste of the elusive three-dimensional dream, along with their jaw-dropping visuals and excellent designs. And while it will always have a place in our hearts and in our PSX emulators, Square Enix goes one level higher, giving us the joy of the original with a few much-needed tweaks. Return to the war-torn lands of Gaia and join Zidane Tribal, as he takes on the kidnapping of Alexandria's princess. Having never been ported to any other device before, it's impressive to see how much care was expended to bring it to the mobile. They've managed to work around the PlayStation's limited pixels to give users the full artistic package. Even on larger resolutions, their characters are looking polished and alive. While the captivating story and sprites can wow any fan who plays the game, their control system does give way to a few glaring mishaps. Their D-pad system might be miles ahead of what emulators offer, there's still some unsynced maps and objects that threaten to dampen its overall experience. Nevertheless, it's still the highest rated Final Fantasy game on the Android, and it has a play score of 8.6. Number 3 is Dragon Quest VIII. Now this particular Dragon Quest game is held dear not only by many of the hardcore fans that fell in love with the PlayStation 2 version, but also by the thousands of young up-and-coming gamers who enjoyed their most recent port to the 3DS. However, this Android version being released in 2014 didn't seem to impress the critical mobile masses. Don't get us wrong, it's still the same fantastic game we all know and continue to love. But this port is a whole new story altogether, bringing in a slew of technical changes that really make for more frustrating gameplay. Aside from being locked on portrait mode, its poor mobile optimizations stand in the way of an excellent game. 
8 is also stuck with a lackluster 24 frames per second that most phones seem to struggle with. Other than those annoying changes, the glory of 8's excellence manages to shine through. Relive the silent hero and his gang's family-friendly misadventures in this pocket-friendly iteration. While it loses some elements of the beloved North American release, like the orchestrated soundtrack and lively voice acting, it's removed the annoying random encounters of the PlayStation original. It definitely isn't as good as their more recent ventures, but it's a small price to pay to have a legend in your pockets. It has a play score of 8.73. Number 2 is Dragon Quest V. Yes, there are four Dragon Quest games on this list, and we are not sorry at all. Not one bit. Besides, now is not the time to complain, because we're going to talk about one of the best things that ever came out of Yuji Horii's Genius of a Mine. Although it was originally released on the Nintendo Super Famicom in 1992, the game never quite made it to Western shores until the DS remakes in 2009. But the 17-year wait was all worth it in the end, letting us experience the legendary game for the first time ever. And now it's right at our fingertips with this Android port. Known for its many milestones in gaming history, Dragon Quest oozes with epicness from the very first second, and sustains all throughout. Covering about 30 years of the protagonist's life, your adventure begins from the minute of his birth until his imminent marriage and family life. While it follows the same cliché of defeating evil to save mankind, it's one of the most well-crafted stories in the series, duly showing off Hori's innate love for bittersweet tales. Aside from their deep story, the gameplay also shines, letting you recruit random encounter monsters into your party. This monster collecting mechanic ultimately inspired the likes of Pokemon, Digimon, and more. With a long and immersive story topped off by a memorable gameplay experience, Dragon Quest V provides us with the best the series could offer. Now in a pocket-friendly edition, it receives a price score of 8.75. Here are the runners-up before we reveal the number one. Inosha 4. Just like any RPG game, step into a fantasy world filled with goblins, orcs, and more in Come to Us USA's action-driven adventure. It has a play score of 8.33. Final Fantasy IV – The After Years Not exactly the best of the Final Fantasy series, it was made as a sequel to 1991's Final Fantasy IV with the benefits of a full 3D makeover. It has a play score of 8.32. Final Fantasy VI – An unforgettable Final Fantasy adventure full of magic, mechs, and a whole lot of random encounters. It has a play score of 8.28. One Piece Treasure Cruise Form your hearty crew of landlubbers and sail to the vast waters in Bandai Namco's mobile One Piece game. It has a play score of 8.27. Romancing Saga 2 Another one of Square Enix's recognized titles. This mobile port offers the game in full remastered form, along with their first official English translation. It receives a play score of 8.25. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And the best JRPG on the Android is Chaos Rings 3. Proving that they're one of the high kings of Japanese RPGs, Square Enix has conquered this list with absolutely no effort at all, ending with one of their latest IPs. Although it's not as globally recognized as their two flagship series, Chaos Rings rises above all of them, proving they're the best of the company's mobile flock. If you're tired of the classic 2D sprites, then Chaos Rings' vibrant 3D worlds will give you an eye-popping first look, with beautiful models and equally beautiful sights. It doesn't quite continue the stories of their previous two games. Instead, it brings us to the narrative of the adventurers of Neo Paleo, the last step towards their dreams of becoming explorers to the lovely Marble Blue. Choose from up to five different playable characters and discover the secrets of their world with your party of three. Take on the game's main quest in the gripping story mode or fight against monsters to collect an array of valuable equipment. With additional quests unlocked every day in their daily challenges, there's always something to look forward to. Embark on their standard turn-based combat and bring down beasts with skills and brute force. Whatever road you choose, their lineup of lovable characters will bring joy in every step. Learn about them in your various missions and watch them come alive with the game's remarkable visual presentations. A modern classic, it receives a play score of 